Thank you for watching the following PrepTicket.com video. In the Dallas suburb of Mansfield, Texas, one teenager is soaring to new heights. Voted one of the best places to live by Money Magazine in 2007, Mansfield, Texas is a true up-and-comer. Today, Mansfield is home to the next great thing. She's a world-class athlete who does her damage in track and field. Meet Shade Wygant, a tremendous athlete with Olympic-sized aspirations. Mansfield's standout Shade Wygant is that rare athlete gifted in everything she does. But the one thing setting her apart from most around the world, her ability as a pole vaulter. And to her, there's nothing like the euphoria of that perfect jump. I run from kind of short distance because I am a sprinter. You need to hit the exact same foot pattern. You know, you have a certain mid that you need to hit. And then when you get to the plant at the box, your last left needs to hit at the exact same spot every single time. And then you put the plant up, it has to be really tall, and, you know, you have to get off the ground, have a big right knee drive, get in the right position to push off the pole, and uh, you clear the bar. Why Gant is the three-time Texas state champion in women's pole vaulting, so she knows a thing or two about reaching new heights. And for the better part of four years, Why Gant's been the sport's dominant figure on a national stage. In fact, ever since her arrival on campus as a ninth grader, Why Gant's been a standout much to the delight of her head coach. Freshman year, I had no idea I had a, a pole vaulter coming up. She comes bouncing into my room and goes, I'm Shade, I'm your vaulter. I told her, you know, freshman year, you have to vault with the team. You have to work out with our club, our, our coach at the time and be on our track and she ran relays for us and once she set the freshman national record and won state, then everything, everything changed. Fast forward three years from that moment to this past spring where Wygant notched the personal best 13 feet nine and a half inches. That mark is the fourth best effort in national high school history. To her though, it's nothing new.